G'day viewers and welcome to this, the first PB's Retro Restorations of 2022. I hope you all had a lovely Christmas, hope you got a little bit of a break. Ah, I know I did, well a little bit of a break, straight into the new job, but I'm working through it. Now, this week we're doing this Dinky 277 Pontiac Superior Criterion Ambulance which is a gobful. Now this is the model, the later model that's had the flashing light on top of it, which is, well the bulb's missing, all the mechanisms in there, but it needs some work. It's missing a rear door, which my friend Michael at Gravesend Diecast Salvage Australia has made for me. He's also doing one of these, because you can call it a bit of a collab. Uh, so I'll put a link at the end, so you can go and watch his dinky video. So anyway, let's get crack a as they say in the ambulance industry, probably, and see what we got. So having a screw to pull it apart is always good. I'm not sure why they still kept the uh, opening door on the back of these, because you can't get the battery out through it. Two drivers, one looking a bit cranky, he's not been allowed to drive again like the Canadian police car, it's probably the same guy. Anyway, here's the mechanism. Um, it's complete. The back's snapped off so it won't hold a battery in it tight anymore. The little light thing is still on top, which is good. Now, this car's been subject to a repair in the past. The glass has been glued back in. Half the decals have been scraped off it. Uh, the door, rear door looks like it was snapped off, so. Anyway, I'm gonna dremel out the roof get that glass out and see how bad it is. So with the glass out you can see where it's been smashed and someone felt it needed to be glued back in a place, um, which it probably did. All the decals have been scraped off it. Now I'll just remove these wheels. Now the rear wheels are on a solid axle and the hubs are around the either around the wrong way or they've come from another car. I'm, I'm not sure. But the biggest problem is that little cam in the middle that activates the light mechanism. It was worn out. I thought, oh no, I'll just take it off and replace it and I destroyed it. But more about that later. Now I'll just clean this body up. So once I got to the end of scotch briding it and getting it all looking nice and shiny I tried tweaking the little bit above the rear door uh, and I broke it. So I don't know how I could have got it straight without breaking it so I glued it back in, uh, baking soda, super glue, you know the story and I got it looking half human again. You'll see the shroud on one of the rear emergency lights has been bent in too, so I tried straightening that out. I broke it a little bit. Uh, I did the best I could with that. And I got it looking half reasonably human again. Now I'm installing the door that Michael made for me. Uh, he made it out of resin, which is very clever of him. Now I know Michael's got about 500 of these ambulances he's gonna do, so. <laughs> um, but I'm sure you'll have them all on display when he has his video, so make sure you check it out. Now, base coat of white. Well, it's not a base coat. I primed it and then I sprayed the whole thing white. 
because the roof's supposed to be white and the SMS paints I'm using for the blue are quite transparent and the white will help make it look awesome. Took a few coats so to get it that dark blue. So getting to work on this glass wasn't too bad, pretty scratched up. I think somebody must have used a, a wire brush to try and take the decals off it. And why they tried taking the decals off, I don't know. And uh, Anyway, it's one of the mysteries of the diecast universe, isn't it, viewers? Anyway, I've got it looking pretty good. <laughs> base had a few little nicks and knocks and dints so I hammered them back into shape. You can see I've removed that battery case by this stage. And here's my decals. I printed them in reverse on clear paper so I could stick them on from the inside. I thought that might look a bit neater and a bit cooler. It probably served to show up a lot of the cracks and the clear. Well I thought it was meant to be clear but they can, they're still a bit hard to see. Or maybe I should have put some white in behind them. But they're not too bad. So, to replace the bulb, I bought these cheap little LED bulb spinning tops from the dollar shop. And I started pulling the assemblies out of them. And I wired them up to the original assembly. And pressing the bottom, I got it to work, which was great. But because I'd already removed that cam and I, I couldn't make a cam for to save me life to spin those activate it again, so I had to think of another solution to it. But while I think about that, I'll do some of the detail painting. Okay, so the 21st century is coming to the rescue of this one. I've got this little flashing LED home kit. They make for kids to learn about electronics. And us adults too. Um, I couldn't have assembled this without my son's help. Uh, he knew about long leg positives and w what went where. Because it didn't come with any instructions. And I watched some videos on how to solder on the internet. Because I thought I knew how to do it, but I didn't know how to do it. And thanks to the help of several videos that I neglected to make the, take the names of, I soldered up this little 9 volt assembly. And, well, it worked. They're, they're supposed to flash on and off, like the green, red, green, red. Uh, but only the red one flashed. I don't know why the green one didn't. It was kind of a blessing in disguise, because I didn't want the green one to flash, so... So there's times where oh, and it, it worked out for me by not working. <laughs> and I found a little washer out of my washer drawer just to fill that hole in a bit so it was the right size for the lead. And I did have to drill it out a bit to make it fit. And then I had to make a new rear axle. Cleaned up the wheels. Now 
Now I did try and adapt this assembly to run off button battery so I could hide them inside the car, but it wouldn't. I think it's got something to do with the resistors and the the chip that it runs. It needs a bigger 9 volt square battery. Which of course means it doesn't fit and I've had to leave the cables outside the car, which doesn't look very good, but it works and that's what I've had to do. Here's some new tyres which aren't anything like the originals, but they look pretty good. going to screw it back together and just like that pending a test we're done wee 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 it sounds like a dying cat wee 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 so here we are back at the start with my ambulance that needs rescuing from itself scratched up back door missing uh, but otherwise not too bad really, it still had the little siren on the roof and the drivers and everything were in there. That, that could have been a massive pain to have to replace all them, I don't think I would have bothered with it. Thank you to Michael for the rear door. Uh, I couldn't have done it without it Michael, I really appreciate your help with that. So this is what we started with and this is what we're left with now. Looking a million bucks once again with its new paint, new tyres, new decals. A reinstalled uh, flashing light although yes the elephant in the room is the giant 9 volt connector that's sitting out the side of it um, and maybe it's something I'll review once I work out how to better work batteries and things like that but in the meantime it's been saved from a fate worse than death and I'll tuck that uh, 9 volt connector around the side you can't see in my shelf and we'll be all good Kick off your 2022 the right way with a shirt from PB. Limited sizes available now. So thanks for checking out my first new video of 2022. I really appreciate it everybody. Welcome back all my regular subscribers. Thanks very much. Welcome to our new viewers. Uh, if you've liked what you've seen here, maybe give it a like uh, and maybe consider subscribing if you'd like to see some more of this, you know, mental activity. Uh, I'm trying to keep up with the video every Friday at 9.15. As I said in last year's video, if that's going to change, I'll always try and let you know in advance. Thanks for stopping by to check me out. Stay safe, have fun, and I'll see you next week at 9.15 on Friday. Lord willing. Bye!